Let's talk about boards on Pinterest and how you can use them to create an amazing profile that calls the attention of your followers, of your audience. Let me show you for some examples first so you understand what's the idea behind the boards. Here we are on the Starbucks Pinterest account. For example, you see how many followers following, the website is here, the location, and remember the description, the about uh, text that we created on the last video is here also telling people about this company and about why they need to follow them. Okay, so here we have, if we scroll down a little bit, we have two options. We have the boards and the pins, and you will see the difference in the next video. Right now, we are talking about the boards. The boards are collection of pins that are here on your profile. You can create boards that are related with specific topics that will interest your audience. For example, here on the Starbucks one, we have one board, which is the art of espresso. If I click here, I see that inside this board, Art of Espresso, we have 28 pins and this number of followers, 245,000 followers, okay? And there is a description here, and you see all the pictures, videos, and pins that are related to espresso. So people that love Starbucks and they want to learn more about uh, the Art of Espresso, they will follow this board. If I go back here, you see coffee recipes, tea recipes, coffee at home, house to, flavor coffee, hot cocoa, co coffee photography. So all these specific boards are related with the Starbucks brand. They created this in order to call their followers, to show cases, to show products, to show ideas to their followers. Let's go to the next one, Barack Obama, for example. Here we have Barack, uh, the boards, right? Barack Obama, uh, 2012, in his own words, so quotes of Barack Obama, just the facts, some facts of Barack Obama's uh, presidency. And you see that all this is related with the brand Barack Obama. If we go to the next one, we have Whole Food Market. For example, again, we have here the website, description, everything looks great here. And the boards you see that we have boards here that are interested to the Whole Foods Market audience. For example, summer recipes, travel, paleo diet recipes, dinner recipes, healthy recipes, vegetarian recipes. So all that related with the Whole Foods Market uh, brand. Okay. The next one, the last option, the last example I show you here is uh, Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins boards. We have relationship, the art of achievement, business mastery, inspiration, favorite quotes, and all that things that are interested to Tony Robbins followers. So on your profile here, what you need to do is make a list of ideas, ideas that you can use and can, can you can grow that and create a board so in my case let's say for example i have a digital marketing board so i am pinning here content from my website and other websites about digital marketing i can create a new board and you i recommend you to do that right now if you go here to your profile you see a, a plus sign here create board so you click on that and here we add the name of the board on this case we can say for example facebook marketing let's say and we can turn this as use this as a secret board or not. We'll have a video especially about this, about the secret board and how you can use it to improve your productivity here on Pinterest. For now, we will leave it off. So we have the, the, the board name and click on create. Excellent. So now let's close this. We see that we have a new board called Facebook Marketing. Okay, this board Facebook Marketing already have eight followers. And you can start adding new pins right now. You see that it's empty. If I go to my profile here, you see that we have the board. Let's go on boards. And we, we, we have the board, but it's empty. Okay. If we click edit here, we can add more information. I recommend you to go edit and add information about the board. Description, for example. Here, I'm sharing the best Facebook marketing pins category you can choose any categories here secret again we will talk about this later and you can invite collaborators so if you have a friend if you have a partner that is uh, that can help you to to pin pictures here to this specific board you can invite them in here by using their name if they are already here on pinterest or their email 
When you already click on save, now we see here the Facebook marketing. So if we go here on the search and we search for Facebook marketing, for example, we can start adding some pins to my board. So here we have a, a great uh, image saying about a week of activity on Facebook. Uh, all the week and everything that you need to do in order to be successful on your marketing you, I can save this one for example to my board so I select this and I have all my boards here the digital marketing the Tony Robbins which is secret and the Facebook marketing the one that we just created so I can save here or I can create a new board if I want okay so let's save this excellent let's save this one too to the Facebook marketing save let's find another Let's save this one. And just doing this as a demonstration, of course, you need to save only the things that are related with this specific board. So now if we go to my profile here, we see on the boards that we have now the Facebook marketing. Let me let me refresh this. It's showing zero pins right now. Let's see four pins. Excellent. So if I click here, you see that we have four pins and eight followers on this specific one. And we have all the ones that we just pinned in the last minute here. Okay. So that's the idea, guys. It's recommended. Good practices here. Let me share with you. It's recommended to create as many boards as you want. But you need to remember that it needs to be related with your company and with your audience. It's not your personal profile. We are not on the, your personal profile here. And we have amazing pictures uh, to pin here on, on Pinterest. And sometimes people, entrepreneurs that have a business plan, a business uh, profile, they end up pinning too many stuff, that, too much stuff that is not related with their company and with their audience. And that's not good when they come here to your profile and they see something that is not related. It's not very interesting for them. So they end up leaving your Pinterest profile and we don't want that. So create at least four new boards here right now after this video. Create new new board, four new boards and go to the search box here at the top and search for keywords that are related with this bo with these uh, boards and end up adding at least five, four, maybe 10 pins to each board here to, 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 to populate and to create and start creating momentum for this specific board. OK, before we end the video, let me share why boards are important. Here we are on Starbucks again. We can follow the whole account by clicking on follow or we can go and follow a specific board. So let's say I don't want to follow Starbucks as the whole brand, but I just want to follow this board, which have 162 pins, which is about coffee photography. So I click on follow here. So right now I am not following the whole Starbucks company I'm following only this board about coffee photography, because that's what I want. To, to learn about okay so you have these options that's why it's important to create boards that are interested to your audience if i go here for example and i search for the let's say facebook marketing you have here the options all pins your pins viable pins people or boards some people are looking for specific boards let's say coffee photography coffee photography. So I search for this. And if I go to boards here, I see that there is one, there are a lot of, bo of, of boards about coffee photography. Okay. So I can come here and say, Hey, I love this one. Follow this board, follow this board. That's why it's important for you to use specific keywords also on your boards, keywords that your customers will search here on the top of Pinterest. I hope this is helpful. Start creating your, bo your boards right now, at least five, four or five uh, boards on your account and add some pins to each one. See you in the next video.